All right, so this contains spoilers. Um, so if you have not seen the TV show, turn off now and go watch it. Um, and then come back for the review. But please like the video one way or another. Um, so this is Carnival Row. This is an Amazon high-budget TV show. I think it's based on a book. But it stars Orlando Bloom. Um, and um, he plays a ex-soldier who is a detective. And he is in a love interest with... with um, the pixie who is vin vid vid vidnet and uh she is played by Kara Divine Divine I can't pronounce her name but I'll show a picture of her um here or here and um so she is a pixie and um so, she, in the beginning of the show, for the first episode, she runs from the opposite side of the people of the war and tries to save other pixies. And um, so she ends up getting on a boat, which ends up getting wrecked. And so from there, she gets a job at, um, as a maid by the owner of the boat uh, to pay off her debt. And so she she meets um, what's her name? Igmog Spur and her brother. The brother is the one that um, owns the boat and they're This this world is very interesting. It um it's kind of how Americans are with um immigrants cuz these are immigrants that come to this town and um and there are all different types of um fairies to um half horseman, half not and uh, half human I mean and um People with these goat type of people. And so a, a goat person uh, apparently is the first of its kinds of rich, not normally. And it's disgust. It, they considered it disgusting, those type of people, these rich people. And so one moves in next door and there's a whole thing going between her and um, M. M Gordon. Her, I think her name is. She is played by Taryn something. And, um, comes a love interest in there, and it's, definitely shows people can change, but there's, there's these murders that go on, and, um, Linda Bloom goes and, um, investigates them as he's a detective. And um, there's a whole thing between him and um, this other police head police officer. Um, and so you find more and more about uh, Lando Bloom's character. How, well, I won't say because that's a big spoiler. Um, I'm going to keep it minimum. And, um, but there's a whole thing between it and. Turns out this creature of some kind is from the in the dark is killing these people and he has to figure out why and how they're connected. And so you go through that and you go through the other story marks from the rich people to to the flashbacks of Orlando Bloom and that and then in the beginning a friend, a fairy friend who is in a whorehouse in this city, uh, is an old lover of uh, 
these names, man. They're just brutal. I don't know how to pronounce them. Vision it, vision it, the the character, the character played by Kara, and um, so they they have a, a history behind each other. Um, and they go back with flashbacks to how Linda Bloom and her met, and you know how there's this torn between the two uh, kinds of fairies and uh, humans and all that. And um, the the war between the Bergen, Bergens, which is uh, the military that uh, Alonda Bloom is in, and this other one, and the fairies get stuck in between it. And um, a lot of uh, old school kind of uh, feel to this, like the 1800s to the early 1900s of uh, England. And... Um, for the most part, I mean, well, not for the most part, but for all the whole time, the acting is pretty good. The the action, it, there's not, there's, it's more romance and um, drama than action, and um, but you know, it doesn't pull you out. But it, it's definitely a intriguing and good story. Again, I don't know if this movie, is, this TV show is, you know, based on a book. I think I read that it uh, came across something real quick, but I didn't check it out, that it is. Um, it seems like a fantasy book for sure. Um, definitely in uh, something to watch that's different. And um, I honestly would highly recommend it. I look forward to season two. It looks like it's by the end, the last episode that it's going to be a really intense one. Um, I I I love the show and I would give this five out of five stars and I highly recommend it. Um, you know, it's something new, it's something good, and um, it's tasteful. Uh, a little bit of politics here and there and there, but, you know, you barely notice it. The uh, warming of the story and the intensity of it overlaps, uh, covers up that feeling of uh, of the politics in here. And uh, definitely a well-made TV show, well-directed, well-acted, um, and well-written. So, um, if you have not... I would highly recommend it, like I said, and, um, you know, please like and subscribe, uh, that would be great. Um, yeah, that's really all my review, it's not much of spoilers, but, oh, and, and one more thing before we go. The whole thing with, um, the Chancellor of the... Paul um, I know who he is, and he was in Chernobyl. And I highly, highly love his acting in here, as always, and he's a great actor. And um, I, I forgot his name. Uh, I have problems remembering names of a lot of these actors. So many actors out there, and a lot of them have weird kind of foreign names. So I do apologize for that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that is my review. I'm hoping you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, have a good day, everyone.